Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome back to my channel, I'm Lydia Duku, so today we are going to cook omena, you need two tomatoes, you need a red onion, and you need your omenas, omena or daga, whichever way you want to call it, so I'm going to teach you how to cook delicious, tasty omena or dagas, you need a container where you're going to soak them, First of all, you need to sort your omenas because they have a lot of dirt, they have a lot of, you know, snails, sea particles, I don't know what, stones. So you need to sort them out slowly by slowly. You don't want to know the taste of biting on a snail in your omena when you're eating with your ugali. Oh God, it's the worst thing ever. I did it, I tested it, my brother had cooked it, he had not sorted out the omenas well, or the dagas well, so when he cooked and we were busy eating, I I felt some crunchiness, oh, and when, guys, and guess what, it was a snail, it was a small snail shell, I believe it had a snail inside, and from that day, I stayed like for three years without eating the gas again. You know, it, it was very bad. It was horrible. The experience was bad because personally, I don't like snails. So you can imagine how I felt. I, I didn't even finish eating that dish. So guys, make sure that you sort them out. So the total cost of omena... Or Daga, where I bought them, this one cost 50 bob shillings. The tomatoes costed me 20 bob, and the onion costed me 5 bob. So, this recipe costs around 50 plus 20, that is 70 plus 5, 75. And also, I'm using a ring light, so that is another cost. And my phone to record and labor, guys, please. I have put some effort into this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, please turn the notification bell, leave a, leave something goody goody, leave me, give me some goodies here on the comment section. So guys, I'm sorting them out, you guys, you can see, omenas are tiny fish, I don't know if they, they, grow, they grow up to be bigger fish. That like tilapia and so but these are tiny fish that has been dried up yeah you you should eat dried omenas like make sure that you dry them up out to reduce the smell and also the bitterness in it so uh, we are done with sorting out so this is what what is left the scales you know and some small parts of like the head some people don't like eating omenas because they, they, they say that the omenas stare at them. <laughs> but no, anyway. So guys, we are done with sorting them out. So we are going to add hot water so that we can leave it to soak for about 10 to 20 minutes. The benefit of soaking them is that it helps get rid of dirt, scales, and the bitterness in them and also the smell it's this helps with the smell too especially but especially the bitterness in the omena it helps reduce that too and the omena gets cooked easily so when you soak them you need to skip on stirring them so that all the omenas can get wet can soak and the scales can fall off so make sure you stir for some time You can use a fork or anything else because the water is so hot I can't even use my hands to do that. And the benefit of not using your hands is that you will not break the omena. When you use your hands to stir or wash the omenas, you will end up breaking them. And let me tell you, it, ha it will have some stinging effect when you eat them. Like, it will be rough. So the next thing we need to do is to prepare our tomatoes and our onion i realized that this oh i forgot to mention that we need some milk like half a cup of it because we're going to cook wet fried omenas 
or the gas so we need some milk which we are going to boil later and now i'm going to prepare my tomatoes we are going to wash them make sure everything is clean wash them yeah as you can see i've washed them then we are going to peel off to peel them because i don't have a tomato paste and i want my omena to have a thick soup you know like a soup a thick soup i'm going to peel them off also we are going to peel off our red onion we're going to just remove the first layer this onion was very my eyes were teary don't make me cry please subscribe to my channel and leave a like and leave a comment turn on the notification bell so that every time i post you will be the one to be notified you'll be the first one and welcome to the family if, if you are new here guys so we are going to chop off our onion into small pieces and you're going to cook your omenas you need uh, to have a big onion you can also add some nor cube or reco cube if you want to but i don't love spices i love natural spices because reco cubes give me terrible heart burns so you need to chop off or cut your onion into small slices cut it and please be careful because you don't want to cut your fingers off then put them in a separate place or container as you can see i'm using a chopping board i find it very easy to use when you're cutting your onions or your tomatoes So now we're going to peel off the tomatoes you can instead of even using using a knife and peeling them on their raw you can boil them and then remove the skin it, it's easier that way but i decided to peel them off because i didn't have a lot of time i want it to have a thick paste because I don't, i'm not going to use the tomato paste So peel them off and then we're going to slice them. I realized that the, um, uh, using two tomatoes will be enough instead of using three tomatoes. So I'm peeling the skin off. Because I want the to when I cook the tomatoes, I want them to be completely cooked and have a thick paste for my daga or omena. remove the skins there and then we are going to chop the tomatoes into small pieces so that they can be quickly cooked
chop them into smaller pieces our dagger is soaking right there in the corner we have our onions ready and we have our tomato ready so now we are going to remove the dagger from the water oh the water is so hot The reason is to how we are removing them using our hands or anything else but we are not going to drain the water first is because we don't want the scales to be to, to be because the scales are underneath are at the bottom of the container that's why we are, we are going to remove the daggers first because the daggers are floating on the water and we don't want to get the scales back so that's why i'm using my hand to pick it from the water which is hot my hand turned red here my fingers you can use some like a fork to pick them but pick them either way as you can see it's hot so that is what we are trying to get rid of you see all those particles in there when you eat them guys you you'll you'll be it 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 it, it feels like something is stinging your mouth so on the other end i was cooking my ugali or flour as you can see the camera angle was not that good but you guys can just see what i was doing here i was cooking ugali which we are going to eat with our daga or omena i don't know how long it takes to cook ugali i think it takes around 10 to 15 minutes depending with the sides and it's tasty i'm just cooking the ugali here and uh, medium heat or oh, low heat because i want it to cook very well even i want it to be very well cooked and to take my time i know one day i'll have a bigger kitchen i believe so and it will be very easy for me to film and but i'm still thankful for what i have i'm using a ringlet at the other end you can see it from afar so we are cooking our ugali so now we are cooking our omena we are going to dry fry them using a pan and what we need to do is add a little oil whichever you like so that the the omenas or the daga cannot be ca cannot kungua um, kungua na kizungu inaitwa je i don't know they cannot stick to the pan so we are going to dry fry them to get the water out and for them to to cook also filming while cooking was quite hard here Right, the camera angles i keep changing the camera angle so now i'm going to add the milk and let it boil i've used like a, a a glass of milk one glass of milk so the omenas of the daga are dry frying then i added my onions for them to cook too and also don't forget to add some salt add some salt and then stir so that the onions can cook too you can see my daga is turning brown yeah i love it in the smell oh it's smelling so good my daga is turning brownish and 
and my milk is boiling up. What is it with milk? Like when you leave it for like two minutes, when you come back, it's all over. It may spill, it may and you're like, let me run to the loo, and then when I come back, oh, even when you just sit in the toilet, it will just, oh, I shouldn't be talking about the washroom right now. Now I'm going to add my tomatoes after my, after my onion has turned golden brown. So you add your tomatoes, let the tomatoes cook. This is how it looks like. So the good thing about peeling the tomatoes is that it will give you a thick paste. So this is how the food is looking like. So we have added now the milk after the tomatoes have been cooked. You add some milk and then you stir. Well, hey, I'm feeling hungry already. You stir it until it gets into the into your dagger. Stir it. You can see the color is turning. Well, let the milk keep on boiling. The milk will be soaked into the dagger later completely. Yeah, that is how it looks like, guys. Also tell me places where I can buy legit pans. As you can see my pan has peeled off. So now the omena is cooking. It's ready. As you can see, the milk is getting soaked into the omena. So keep on stirring. And yeah, that is how the food looks like. Wow. Can you see that, guys? Can you see? Uh -oh, uh oh this looks so yummy my greens are there the daga is cooked and my curry flour is there let us chat with finja kama ugali man you drill a hole then you put your omena or daga there then you add your greens there and you have a bite yummy 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 so guys, if you watched up to this far, thank you. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like this video, to subscribe, and to turn on the notification bell. And leave a comment down in the comment section below for me, guys. Thank you so much for giving me an audience. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to turn on the notification bell.